Blog Talk Radio. Azerbaijan, being a Christian and a bold witness for Christ can be costly. Forum 18 News reported that on October 31st, police raided a Christian festival and detained four believers in the town of Kusar, Azerbaijan. Eighty members of a Baptist church were gathered in a believer's home for a celebration thanking God for the harvest. When police arrived, they turned off the gas and electricity in order to prevent the believers from preparing their meal. Police also photographed and videotaped the service and recorded the names of those present. Despite the government crackdown, believers in Azerbaijan remain faithful to Christ. To learn how you can pray for and help persecuted Christians, subscribe to the Voice of the Martyrs free monthly newsletter. Call 875-VOICE. That's 875-V-O-I-C-E. Support persecuted believers by calling 875-VOICE. The Voice of the Martyrs is a Christian nonprofit organization. Jesus Christ said these words to the Apostle Paul when the Apostle Paul was converted. Jesus said this, and this is something that the Apostle Paul recounted in Acts chapter 26. Jesus had told the Apostle Paul, I will deliver you from the Jewish people as well as from the Gentiles to whom I now send you. Verse 18, to open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and an inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Now, Jesus, this is the words of Jesus Christ to the Apostle Paul, that he would send him, Paul, to open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light, from the power of Satan to God. He's, in the words of Jesus, from the power of Satan. Satan has power. Now, it's inferior to the power of Jesus Christ, but nevertheless, he does have some power. And he is a force to be reckoned with. Now, obviously, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus is God in in the flesh. He is superior to this created being named the devil. However, Jesus says that Satan has power. It's a power that we need to be aware of and a power we need to understand. Satan has power, and he unleashes his power on humanity in various ways, in various forms. Tonight, I'm not here to discuss the various ways and forms he 
can unleash his power. But I will tell you this. At the Jesus Church here in Southern California, just a few nights ago, we encountered the power of Satan in a very unusual way. Now, we saw Jesus Christ come out victorious. He prevailed. However, Satan unleashed his power. He's absolutely furious with us for the work that we're doing in the name of Jesus Christ. And I reported on this just a few nights ago in my email report, but it's worth repeating to my audience throughout the world here on the Deliverance presentation. So tonight I'll be discussing what happened when Lucifer dropped a spiritual bomb here in Los Angeles. Preaching the gospel or even being a believer in Iraq is costly. Reports received by the Voice of the Martyrs show that in recent weeks, attacks by Muslim extremists against believers have reached alarming levels. A Syrian international news agency and cable news network reported that on November 22nd, three believers were killed in Mosul. Despite increased attacks, believers remain courageous and steadfast in their faith. Assailants entered a shop owned by two Christian brothers, Sadhana and Wadhana, and shot them. Wad was killed instantly and Saad succumbed to his injuries a few hours later. In an unrelated incident, later in the day, police found an elderly Christian woman strangled in her Mosul home. Ask God to comfort those mourning the loss of these believers. Ask God to bring his peace to Iraq. To learn what it means to serve God in Iraq and many other restricted countries, subscribe to the Voice of the Martyrs free monthly newsletter at 875-VOICE. That's 875-V-O-I-C-E. Call 875-VOICE. The Voice of the Martyrs is a Christian nonprofit organization. Welcome back to Deliverance. I'm Jay Bartlett. Thank you for taking a few moments of your time to be with me as I discussed Lucifer dropping a spiritual bomb here in the Los Angeles area. It was a spiritual bomb, no doubt about it. Now, a few nights prior to that service at the Jesus Church in Pasadena, I received a a very strange email. And now, at first, I thought it was a prank, and I was going to simply dismiss it, ignore it. The email came in. It was a spirit. It was a demonic spirit that wrote this email. They had gone to my website. And emailed me through my website and the the first name. Lucifer. The email death to all six 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 at I'm not gonna give you the address and then a Southern California number and the message was some of my minions will be in attendance tomorrow night. That that is Sunday night. They are covered by the blood of Lucifer Christ, and they shall bless the rest. Submit your spirit to the left hand path. Now, again, you could simply ignore this kind of message. You could dismiss it and say someone's simply playing a prank, a joke, or you could take it very, very seriously and prepare yourself spiritually for warfare. I received this email, and after going before the Lord, I took it seriously. I began to fast and pray, and I'm glad I did. At the Jesus Church, 
Incredible miracles took place. Incredible miracles. Multiple souls went to heaven. Many demons were cast out and expelled. But it was very interesting. Toward the end of the service, when many had already left for the night, there was somebody I was ministering to who had demons, Lucifer spirits. And they boasted how they were in contact with other spirits on the outside named Lucifer. The same spirits that wrote me that email that informed me that some of my minions will be in attendance tomorrow night. They're covered by the blood of Lucifer Christ and they shall bless the rest. Submit your spirit to the left-hand path. They boasted of this. By God's grace, though, these Lucifer spirits that boasted, they were defeated by the superior powers of Jesus Christ. And they were expelled, commanded into the abyss. In Jesus' name. Now, this woman I was ministering to, her brokenness surfaced. And we were able to guide her brokenness into the third heaven and where she encountered the great deep love of the Father and the Son. Now, this is when the night gets intense. After the expulsion, as her soul went up into the third heaven to meet the Father and the Son, I mentioned how Jesus came out victorious, that he he prevailed and referred to that message that I had received a few days earlier from that spirit named Lucifer. As soon as I finished reading it, our meeting hall rattled. It shook violently. Now, I've traveled the world in nearly 75 different countries of the world on six continents. I've been in some some very remote, dangerous places, some of the most dangerous places on earth. I've endured some in, incredible, brutal, satanic assaults and attacks. I've dealt, encountered some incredibly difficult, challenging, violent, bloodthirsty spirits. I've endured, personally, Scores of, of, of attacks, physical attacks, violent attacks. I've endured all kinds of demonic brutality. But I'm to here to tell you what we heard Sunday night here in Southern California at the Jesus Church was out of this world. It was otherworldly. It was warfare, full on. Our hall shook violently. I mean, the best way to describe it was like a massive bomb being dropped upon the the roof of the hall. It was that incredibly loud, destructive and intense. Now, it was interesting. No one in the large hotel complained of the noise or even heard it. The staff was unaware, but those of us in the meeting heard it. A spiritual bomb was dropped from the second heavens through the first heavens, and it landed at the Jesus Church. And a number of us that were still remaining at the Jesus Church meeting could see debris falling from the roof as the demons rattled the hall, the building, hard. It, it, was, it was as if the demons were furious at what transpired as multiple souls were rescued from demonic bondage, healed, and was caught up to the third heaven where they met the Father and the Son. Now, I think there's something larger here that I've been seeking the Lord on. The Jesus Church was birthed by the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It wasn't my idea. It was God's idea. And God specifically told me to conduct the meetings in the Pasadena area here in Southern California. And we have been consistently, despite all kinds of warfare, 
over the years. We have consistently preached the gospel, been faithful to God's word, cast out demons, expelled soul invaders, defeating witchcraft, healing broken hearts, curing the sick, guiding people to the third heaven, encouraging the body, unifying the body. Many have gotten saved by the blood of Jesus Christ and have experienced a transformed life. And many, many have been equipped to carry on the works of Jesus. Again, I think there's something larger here. The demonic response to our victory that we witnessed last night was way out of proportion. They they were incredibly furious and angry. What's going on here? Is there something larger? I think they're furious because we're in one of the most liberal areas in all of the country. Here in California. The enemy is seeking to stop our work. It's not going to happen. How do I know this? Well, Jesus says that he would build his church and the gates of hell would not prevail against it. Just like recently, we had some incredible warfare in the Jesus Church in Vancouver, British Columbia. But that's not stopping us. The work of the gospel is going to continue on. God has spoken so clearly to my heart on this. In fact, we have a meeting in, coming up in in, uh, in a few months in, in the Vancouver area, British Columbia. But the, but the church worldwide, if you listen to the, some of the voice of the martyr commercial uh, spots on this broadcast, you hear what believers going through throughout the world. We ought not to be surprised or perplexed or mystified. The enemy is furious with what is transpiring as souls are being brought into the kingdom of light, the kingdom of God. I mean, the demons reacted Sunday in a very aggressive, violent, defiant manner. And to be honest, rarely I've seen before rattling a building. It sounded like an atomic bomb had just been dropped. A demonic bomb. I mean, something in the heavenly realms is being affected for them to respond in such a direct manner. I mean, God is at work within the Jesus Church in Southern California. And I would encourage you to come Sunday. Now, some of you may be saying, forget that. (laughs) But Jesus is there. He's in our midst, and he's coming out victorious. He's prevailing over the powers of darkness. And again, I would encourage you to come Sunday. Now, Saturday, we'll be in Houston, Texas, here in a few days, Houston, Texas, holding a a powerful seminar. But get to the Jesus Church in Pasadena, here in California, this coming Sunday. Like I mentioned, multiple souls were caught up into the heavenly realms. People were set free from demonic spirits, spirits of witchcraft, death, Jezebel, Lucifer. And people were miraculously cured. I would encourage you to pray for us, to pray for the for the Jesus Church, and attend this Sunday. Now, you may be thinking, what is going on here for the demons to react? Well, they hate the work we're conducting. But I want to encourage you here tonight in Psalm 3. Verse 1, David writes, King David, he said, Lord, how they have increased who trouble me. Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say of me, there is no help for him in God. 
Verse 3, but you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cry to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord has sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord. Save me, O, o my God. For you have struck all of my enemies on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing is upon your people. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. For I know who's going to arise, my friends. It's the Lord God Almighty, the risen Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who has defeated all the powers of darkness by the shedding of his holy blood and the power of his resurrection from the dead. He has ascended to the Father's right hand. He has. And the Bible says this in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 21. Speaking about the resurrection of Jesus, verse 21, and then verse 22, who has gone into heaven. He's at the right hand of the Father, Jesus is, and is at the right hand of God. Angels and authorities and powers having been made subject to him. The witches, the powers of darkness, these bombs, and Satan has power. He can use, he has all kinds of devices, just like we have the armor of God. Just like we have spiritual weapons, the enemy has spiritual weapons. He has spiritual weapons. I mean, what? going back to Ephesians chapter 6, you see the Apostle Paul emphasizing the need to take upon the shield of faith so you, that you may be able to extinguish the fiery darts of the enemy. The fiery darts. The enemy has the ability to throw fiery darts at you that bring pain and, and sickness and affliction and torment. Demons are able to do these things. They're able to utilize weapons. In our case, they, they dropped a spiritual bomb here in the Los Angeles area in Pasadena at the Jesus Church in an attempt to frighten us. Guess what? Nobody left. If anything, it, it doubled our resolve, tripled our resolve to continue to serve Jesus Christ, believing in his promises that you find in Psalm 3 and many other places throughout Scripture. Our God is a living God, and he's victorious. I have so much more I want to share. I'll be right back after this brief intermission here on Deliverance. God has bestowed upon this global mission an extraordinary ability to gently guide individuals into the heavenly realms where thousands are encountering the risen Jesus and experiencing numerous heavenly wonders. We have perhaps created the world's largest video collection of testimonies of those being caught up into the third heaven and experiencing the joys, the wonders, and the glories of God's heaven. These Thrilling videos from around the world demonstrate that God loves and cares for us. Taste of his powers at jbartlemissions.com. That's jbartlemissions.com. Heavenly experiences are for real. Watch and see for yourself at jbartlemissions.com. Are you needing spiritual intervention and immediate assistance in removing demons and healing of your broken heart? We're available to travel to your location and meet you at a neutral location 
to pray and to minister to you and your family. We have upcoming personal ministry sessions in Los Angeles, here in California, in Dallas, Texas, in San Francisco, California, in Houston, Texas. Are you needing immediate spiritual intervention? You have an emergency? Why don't you email us at j at jbartlandmissions.com. That's J-A-Y at jbartlandmissions.com. Or call us, 877-483-5519. 877-483-5519. Or email us at j at jbartlandmissions.com. I'll be right back after this brief intermission. Yes, Lucifer dropped a spiritual bomb in L.A. upon the Jesus Church. But guess what? By God's grace, we'll be there Sunday, preaching the word, casting out demons, healing the sick, healing the brokenhearted, encouraging the body of Christ to trust in God and in his victory. Remember what I read to you just a moment ago, First Peter chapter 3. Speaking about Jesus who's gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers. So Satan has power? Yes. But those powers have been made subject to Jesus. Satan hears and hates what he's hearing tonight. I'm here to tell you Jesus is Lord. And perhaps you're listening to this presentation. You don't know this Jesus. Call upon him. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, the Bible says. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me. I repent. Cleanse me. Come into my life. Change me. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. 